Alright, today I will be showing you how to make this. Just get some footage of obviously whatever, whoever's face you want to make glow. I just looked up a picture of an eyeball, a retina. Um, threw it into Photoshop and I just cropped it out. I'm not good at Photoshop at all and I was able to figure it out so I'm sure you guys can just cut it out so it's transparent behind it and open up After Effects alright once your After Effects opens up go to file invert multiple files then find your uh, <clears throat> your eyeball import that just double click on it and then you need to find your footage once you have found your clip, drag it into this button, or here, or here, doesn't really matter. Alright, this is what I wanted. I see I cropped it out so it's nothing but an eye. Go ahead and open up this file, transform, and go to scale, and just drag it down. That keeps it the same, I don't know what you want to call it, it keeps it a circle. Layer, mask, new mask, that's what we want. Go to pen tool. This will allow you just kind of just to be able to draw what you want the mask to look like. All right, sweet. And uh, for some reason, it made two masks. The first one is going to be the box one. That's what you do not want. You want these. This one. Okay. And then convert vertex tool. I make it sound like I know what I'm talking about. Let's add a vertex. Alright. Okay, now um just had to play around with it a little bit. Just try using your not that. Try using your pen tool and these different ones to make it so you end up with an oval with just two points on it. These two things. The reason you want that, so you can go to convert vertex tool and you can adjust what his eye is gonna look like, and that's how we're gonna make it fit to his eyelid. You want to move one of these things? I think you just grab. Yeah, switch over to just your clicker tool. <clears throat> you'll you'll be all right. I promise. Just drag it on top of his eye. All right. To move individual points of the mask, you need to be on this convert vertex tool. Otherwise, when you're just on clicker mode, it moves just one. Okay. Yeah. Here. See, it's misbehaving. We don't want to move both. We need to trim the top and bottom uniquely. So I'll go to Convert Vertex Tool. Just try to get it to fit the shape of his eyelid. It will take some practice. Alright. Now, um, to check and make sure that this is all lined up pretty, you know, so it looks realistic. All that yellow stuff's in the way right now. So just select I rub fade your clip and it'll all go away so you can see. Um, so as you can see it's not perfect. So just gotta play with it. These little stopwatches, that means that whatever you're adjusting, like the scale, say I want his eye to get bigger throughout. Um, click that stopwatch and see it left a little tick mark right there. That thing that's just like a set point in its memory that's how big that eyeball is in that frame and say I want it to get huge up to this frame then adjust it on the frame that you want it to be like that in and it's gonna drop another tick mark so if you watch it'll change 
Now, of course, we don't want his eye to look like that, so uh, forget that. We don't want scale to change. What we want to change is this mask, because his eyeball is changing every single frame. Let's see, let's go back to our frame. That one. All right, so open up mask with this little triangle deal. Hit mask, path. That stopwatch is just going to let it know that you want to change it through every single frame or wherever you drop a tick mark. So now, just go on to the next frame just by dragging your thingamajigger here. It's actually what it's called, the thingamajigger. Um, now just go to work. Okay, that looks awful, so we'll fix it. Now see it left the tick marks. The tick mark on this frame, that's because I changed stuff with the mask. I changed its path. So it'll remember what I changed it to. See how it changes? Wow, Augie, that's awesome you got. So now this, previously we were just messing with the mask, like the, the thing that kind of stencils out the eyeball. Now we're going to the actual eyeball. So masks, that's not what we're dealing with right now. We're under transform under the eyeball. Go to position, hit that. Because we want this thing to move around now. So move it until you think it's centered up with his eyeball again. That looks pretty nice. Alright, mask. Now do the thing. Alright, cool. See, it left a tick mark. This is just, it's kind of cool. Okay, something went wrong. It doesn't matter. Let's see if I can show you. Oh, okay. So here's the problem, guys. Um, I set the tick mark on this one, so it thinks that's where I want it to be on all the previous frames, too. It was mistaken. So just make sure that clock is moved. Go back to the frame that you want to move it around in. Get your clicker. Don't click. Nope. Not busy. Make sure you have your eyes selected here. See, tick mark right there. Okay, if you notice, um, here's a problem that is going to have to be fixed eventually. His eyeball is just kind of floating around. So you can fix this one of two ways. One way I know of is to, um, let's see, we're going to have to scroll way over. The beginning of the clip, this is the eyeball. It's counting it as like a movie clip, so you can just trim it down to where you want it to actually start. Until you get it to the frame where you want it to appear the first time. See? It just appears like magic. Alright. <clears throat> so we got that fixed. Now, um, I want to keep this tutorial fairly short, so I'm not going to do any more of the frames with you. Um, just keep at it. You'll figure it out eventually. Um, so, his eye doesn't look very cool right now, though. It's not glowing or anything. So what we need to do is uh, just kind of mess with it. Let's go to, this is your effects and presets, presets panel. Um, it has all your just effects you can use on basically anything. So let's go to blur. And try fast blur. See what that looks like. Just drag it. Drag fast blur on your eyeball. Adjust the blurriness. Let's do that. All right, cool. Now it's gonna look up the thing called curves. Just type in curves on your color correction. Drag that onto uh, the eyeball. 
this lets you mess with um, the colorization of the layer that you drag it onto using a very visual, very visual approach. Just kind of get it to where you like. Um, I decided I don't like how blurry that is, so we're just going to take it down a little bit. Kind of make sure I see the eyeball a little better. All right, that looks good. Cool. So literally on every frame, you're just going to go through and change the mask, reposition the eyeball and make sure that you have these little stopwatches clicked. If you don't, you're going to have a really, really not enjoyable time when you get to the end of your clip after spending hours on this and you realize that you didn't have your stopwatches clicked, which means it's just going to stay the same throughout. So make sure you do that. Um, and don't limit to yourself to the two effects I just showed you, curves and fast, fast blur, I think it was. There is tons of stuff in here. Whether you're like just everything you generate, you can like let's just give them a laser beam. Just for the heck of it. This is an awful way to demonstrate this, but see, there's a laser beam in there now. Maybe you're doing a robot and he needs like a uh, a laser in his eye or something. Who knows? Anyways, you get the picture. So, um, once you're done, this took me forever to figure out my freshman year. What you do is click on, uh, what is that? Composition. Composition, add to render queue. It adds this whole panel down here, whatever you have in here, onto the render queue. This is, all, all render means is export. Hit render. It's rendering my um, clip here that I did not finish. And it should be, uh, well, you know, wherever you choose it to export to. And currently, I do not know where it went. But um, yeah, you can change where it exports to just by uh, messing with preferences, I believe. Way good. All right, output two. Well, as you can tell, I clearly do not know what I'm talking about. Um, but that doesn't mean that I don't know how to use After Effects. I mean, I I knew I figured out how to make his eyes glow by watching a few tutorials and just playing around with it. So. I mean, if you get a cool idea, don't think that it's not possible if you can't find it on YouTube or something. You just got to know how to use the, the program, and you'll be able to figure it out. Um, so that's all I have for my tutorial, because that's basically all I have done so far on my project. But when I get done, I'll do a full tutorial and show you more things. Good luck.